Right guys, I knew I was going to supposed to be filming Evening his dad, but I've just come now to film the Bullet Q1. Which, which were just decided to be made out of bits and bats which you could find in the yard. Because this little engine would have been used during the Second World War. And the reason why, because they, they just wanted to buy, just wanted to build an engine. It, but the funny thing is about these, these, these Bully Q ones, they were more, they were more, how do I put it, they were more powerful than any engine at the time, which used to pull tanks, ammunition, cannons and everything. But the thing is about the, about the Bully Q1, is everybody had a nickname for it, and they, and they called it the Ugly Duckling. Because that, because steam enthusiasts said it looked very ugly, but for when you were coming to clean out the small box, small box door on this, there's a bit of a technical hitch, which I never thought of. That it, that when you're cleaning this engine out by its small box, you have to put a plank of wood across the buffer beams to clean it out, because it wasn't very satisfied for you to do that. So that and then this is the oil off blow, blow down cock. So you pull that to open it. Then obviously the blow down, which is the steam injector, which is inside of this engine, will blow down. So, so it they save this engine from blowing up. So this is a Bully Q1. And we're like, every, everyone needs to call it the ugly duckling because it's completely ugly. Even though it was just built for the World War II. And it didn't have to be that spectacular. And this is the only survivor of the Bully Q1. The rest of them did see active service until late, the late 60s. But I like the rest of them all got scrapped. So there we go.